Hello, and welcome to Flight of the Crow's Wing. In this episode, we'll be finding boondocking campsites outside of Ajo, Arizona. After five weeks of camping near Anza Borrego, it was time to leave and find someplace new. We pulled into the first site we could find and had dinner. In the morning, we moved to another campsite further into the BLM lands. This was a large open site surrounded by saguaro, ocotillo, and organ pipe cacti. Decided to explore around camp. Probably not worth the climb up. If you're not on the way back down, the probably be a big rock slide. Probably, because you're like, why did anybody want to go up there? It's a long way down. Climbing up was difficult. Climbing down was much, much worse. Why did I ever think this was a good idea? I'm probably going to die. This rock is going to break off and I'm going to be crushed. All this for a not so great view. Ugh. We did find a nice place to photograph the truck and the trailer. The next day we explored the back roads looking for a better campsite or anything else of interest. Here we found a particularly large saguaro. 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 It is very big. You can get up to 60 feet tall. This one's probably at least 40. We have what appears to be a water water station for the wildlife. It's a little broken up. Patched. But he's made here, so. He's on the concrete by the uh, Then the water comes in here. And then over here. Ramp. And you can go down there and get a drink of water. Most of this road was doable in two wheel drive, but one section required four wheel drive and a spotter. Because this site, as pretty as it was, was exposed to the road and to a lot of wind. So we're moving about 500 yards down the road to a more private site. And we spent half a morning uh, driving around all the back roads around here looking for a better site. And this is the best one we found, which is closest to us. Go figure. Go figure. How long did it take us to break down camp? 26 minutes. Here we are at the new site. Got a little bit where we can be seen from the road there and there. Other than that, we got a big rock there. It's a truck. Another big rock there. Lots of Palo Verde. Much less wind here. The truck and the trailer. Cool so bushes. There are lots of rat holes, so we'll have to be careful with the truck. Here's the trailer. And it's airing out. 
And we have our living room set up. The kitchen. We are good for another couple of weeks. It's a view of our backyard cactus. We got our heater ready to go. So we haven't been able to use it the last few nights because of all the all the uh, wind, but hopefully tonight it'll be settled down enough that that won't be a problem. So I think this will do. Okay, thought I'd show everybody how we found our campsite uh, where we're at. Um, the most common ways that we do is by using Ultimate Campground, iOverlander, um, also just looking at uh, Gaia and looking for BLM lands. Um, but this one that we found, uh, the one that we found when we first came in the area, was through iOverlander. We have our little app, and as you can see, there is southern Arizona, south of Phoenix. The little blue dot is us, and there's Ajo. All these little icons indicate uh, camp uh, uh, campsites. Uh, some of them are campgrounds. But uh, basically, you tap on the icon and it gives you a name and information. When you tap on the information thing, you can see here that uh, you get GPS uh, coordinates and some information about what's available there. Also, uh, notes written by other people that have stayed um, in the general camping area. Now, some of them are for specific sites, but more uh, likely uh, they're actually for uh, multiple sites or areas where there's multiple amounts of camping. Um, so that uh, is how we found our first site, which we came in. It was just getting dark, so pretty late for us. Um, the other app that we use a lot is Gaia, and on Gaia we keep downloaded all the time the uh, Gaia Topo. Um, I have the whole western half of the United States already preloaded onto my phone and the other ones that we can make sure is are, that we have for whatever place we're going to are the public lands. It's the most important one um, and I'll show you here with that bar turned all the way up we'll be able to see it. But uh, basically what that tells us is where the public lands or the BLM lands are. Uh, so basically this whole yellow area uh, is all BLM land. Uh, right there is the town of Ajo, and uh, there's where we're camped. Now, um, other things will show up, like the pink is uh, military, uh, purple, uh, usually wildlife uh, uh, places, um, and the, the kind of grayish color there is a national monument, and there's some other colors, but uh, the main one we look for is yellow, because of course we can usually camp there for free. Um, the first campsite we came to was just down this road here and um, then we had stayed there one night because it was right off the road surrounded by other campers. Um, we unhitched in the morning and drove a bunch of the back roads uh, all around this area and ended up on our second campsite which was right in here. Uh, the problem with it, way too much wind, uh, so we ended up moving just down the road to a campsite that was closer to other campers. Still can't see people from it, but it does have some shelter from a couple of uh, piles of rocks that are very nearby, so still a pretty campsite. Uh, the other one, which is also helpful, is a satellite with labels. With that turned all the way up, the opacity turned all the way up, you can see this is a campsite where we're sitting right now. Uh, when this photograph was taken, there was either a van or a camper or something sitting here. But uh, as you can see, at the first one, where we pulled in was right off the road. Uh, and it's actually quite a few uh, campsites that are visible through here. Now, of course, I can't tell you whether there's already somebody in there or not, but it does at least let you know the lay of the land and, and how, many, how many campsites are kind of available in the area in general. Um, our second campsite was back here. As you can see, you can clearly see there's a campsite there. Now it doesn't work as well in the east where there's so much uh, cover over the roads that uh, you can't tell where the clearings are as well, but it does work pretty well, especially for these kind of deserty areas. So anyway, just thought I'd like to show you. Do you see him with the arms? Give it to him. Thank you for joining us on our journey and in the quest for a perfect campsite. Stay safe 
And remember, if the chips are down, grab them and run. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.